Hey guys, um, a little addendum to the video earlier today. Two from the trunk um, asked me in a video, he goes, what do you do about the CDs? Because you know what? I've got, oh, I don't know, uh, a stack of CDs, and I'm eventually going through them. The majority of the CDs you see here did not come with all their stuff. This is all stuff I did. Let's show you what you can do. If you find a loose CD and you got a jewel case, come on, let's do this. Here's my stack of ones I've already put into my Discogs. I'm gonna grab the next one that's on here. This is uh, Kleinfelter by Clockhammer. I don't know. Clockhammer. It's gonna be a discovery for me. There it is. Kleinfelter. And here is the CD. I already put it in my list. If you click on the pictures, a lot, yes! We got a good one, folks. Check it out, we've got the front cover, save, and the whole back piece, including the spines. Look at that, ready to go. So easy. Bam! Open up my office rider. Insert. Well, if I click on the right thing, insert picture from file. And where is the cover? That's the cover. The cover needs to be 4.8 by 4.8, but we'll go in here, right click picture, 4.8. Actually, I've modified it and tweaked it to 4.79. I remember I did that because it fits just a smidgen better after doing this so many times. 4.79 squared. Shazoink. All right. Then we go insert, picture, grab the back piece, right there. And this one we're going to picture. And I believe, I what did I do? 5.95. It's normally six, but again, I tweaked it. And notice that 5.95 fits better. And the other dimension is 4.6. 4.6. So 5.95 by 4.6, bam. Now I'm going to move this up onto the other page here. Make sure it's on one sheet of paper, just like that. And print. Okay. Of course, it hasn't been on today, so it probably needs to warm up. Come on. Print, baby, print. And in the meantime, I'm going to get ready. I got a blank jewel case. And of course, when I did put them in, the Discogs, I put them in these just to keep track of which ones I have already have in Discogs and which ones are in my stack I need to go through. So get those ready. All right. Look there, gang. All right. Now, time for a little snipperoony. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. All disc lives matter. All music lives matter. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing I, all vinyl lives matter because, I mean, these aren't vinyl, so who knows? But I tell you, it's music, and it plays good. So why trash it? And also, it's easier to keep organized, keep them safer in a case and stacked in a stack. All right, get a little bit of the bend out of there. All right. Look at that. Perfect, nice, snug fit. Get under the tabs. Front cover, done. Let's do the back. You're in my bubble. You know, you don't have to be this close. Jimmy Christmas. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So we open the this case up here. 
And what we're going to do is fold, obviously, right where you need to fold. Bow, 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 bow. Put that right in there. Looks good. Shut up. I, I know I'm on my keyboard. Why am I doing assembly on the keyboard? Then once I get the first one in, I'll use that as a guide for the second one. That way I know it's fit secure. Okay. Beautiful. Outside first. Move the keyboard out of the way. I don't want it to be going ding, ding, ding all the time because that's annoying. Make that nice and flat. And, oh, there's your spines. Got your back cover. Got the front, oh, I'll put that in sideways. Clock hammer should be like that. But hey, is it perfect? No. Is it better than just letting it sit out there? Yes. There we go. Clock hammer. So there we go. CD. Thank you. That's it. That's it. We're done. You can hit stop.